Okay, so the problem at hand asks us to evaluate the limit as x approaches 0 from the right of e to the x plus 5x to the 1 over x power. But we don't know how to do that because L'Hopital's rule does not work very well here because of this form, nor is it in a form that we can use L'Hopital's rule for. So we are going to have to do something to change the format of f of x to get it in a form that we can use. So we're going to set it equal to y. Say y equals e to the x plus 5x all to the 1 over x power. And then we want to pull that exponent down, so we're going to take the natural log of both sides. The natural log of y is equal to the natural log of e to the x plus 5x to the 1 over x. So the natural log of y is equal, of course, to 1 over x times the natural log of e to the x plus 5x. And when we're done, we're going to have to do something to evaluate this natural log of y. So I'm going to go ahead and go explain how that works. So if you, if you understand that e to the natural log of y is equal to y because of the way the powers work, then all you have to see is that the limit as x approaches 0 from the right of e to the natural log of y is going to be equal to the limit as x approaches 0 to the right of y, which is what we want. And then, if you look at e, it's a continuous function, so that means we can pull the limit inside of that function, so this can be rewritten as e to the limit as x approaches 0 from the right of the natural log of y. And then we're going to come back over here and reevaluate this function, and we're going to say the limit as x approaches 0 from the right of the natural log of e to the x plus 5x over x, where I just went ahead and pulled this down into the denominator to make it a singular fraction. And now we want to apply L'Hopital's rule, so we have to make sure that it is in one of the two indeterminate forms that works for L'Hopital's rule. And so in order to do that, we have to evaluate each of these terms of x as their functions approach 0 from the right. So e to the x, it comes down and it approaches a value of 1. 5 to the x, of course, just approaches 0 because it's not altered anyway, as does x. Um, and so then you're left with a natural log of 1 over 0, and the natural log of 1 is, of course, 0. So this is in the indeterminate form 0 over 0. <laughs> And since it's in the indeterminate form 0 over 0, that means we can apply L'Hopital's rule to evaluate the limit. So we come down here and say the limit as x approaches 0 from the right of the natural log of e to the x plus 5x all over x. And we're going to evaluate that, and we're going to use L'Hopital's rule, which means we're going to take the derivative of the top and the bottom independently. So the limit as x approaches 0 from the right of 1 over e to the x plus 5x times the interior, the derivative of the interior, which would be e to the x plus 5, all over the derivative of the denominator, which is just 1 in this case, which means this is equal to the limit as x approaches 0 from the right of e to the x plus 5 over e to the x plus 5x. And since this is in this form, we can go ahead and evaluate it and see if it works and see if we don't have to do take the derivative again. So as we stated before, the uh, e to the x function, as x approaches 0 from the right, the function itself approaches 1, which applies here as well. And again, the function of 5 approaches 0. So since we've already evaluated it as it approaches these values, it's equal to 6, 1 plus 5 over 1. And then we have to come back and say that it's e to the limit as x approaches 0 from the right of the natural log of y, and like we proved up here. So this is equal to e to the 6, which means that's our answer. So the limit as x approaches 0 from the right of e to the x plus 5x to the 1 over x is equal to e to the 6th power.